What are you doing standing out here? I'm waiting for the stagecoach. I'm sending a letter to the corn merchant company to see if we can do business with them in the future. Here he is. Here you go. Thank you, sir. The farmer is not sure if the corn merchant company is a reliable company and doesn't want any of the other farmers to see what he is writing to them. So he first sends a letter to find out if he can trust them and to inform them how he is able to communicate securely, which includes a suggestion for the amount of teeth on a key which can be used to secure messages. Do you have anything for me today, sir? Yes, I do. A letter from a farmer. I would like to reply straight away. Please send this letter to the farmer and give him a copy of my trading license, this key, and these two messages as well, please. Will do, ma'am. The corn merchant company first sends the farmer a letter saying which methods of secure communication they prefer. They also sent their trading license, the key suggested by the farmer with only the top half designed, a message requesting the farmer to prove their identity, and a message saying they look forward to hearing back. I've got a few things for you from the corn merchant company, sir. Thank you, sir. Do you have anything you want to send? Yes, please send this copy of my land deed, this key, and this signed land deed confirmation. Will do, sir. The farmer sends a copy of his land deed, the agreed key with only the bottom half designed, and a signed land deed confirmation letter to the corn merchant company. Agreeing on the number of teeth on a key, and then sending part of the key to each other, allows the farmer and the corn merchant company to produce a key and padlock each that are unique to them. I've got a few messages for you today, ma'am. Thank you, sir. This doesn't look right. Please send this letter to the farmer. Will do, ma'am. Something was missing from the copy of the farmer's land deed, so the corn merchant company sends the farmer a letter informing him of this. The letter's header informs the farmer that there is a small issue, and the letter itself states that the land deed could not be read. I've got a letter for you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh no! Please send this new copy of my land deed to the coal merchant company. Will do, sir. The farmer sends a new copy of his land deed to the coal merchant company. I've got something for you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. This looks fine. That will be all, sir. Okay, ma'am. Hello sir, please send this box to the corn merchant company. Will do sir. The farmer sends a box which is locked with the shared key. The box contains a message saying the farmer is happy to use the shared key to secure future messages, as well as a summary of the messages exchanged so far. By unlocking the box with the shared key, the corn merchant company can confirm they now share a key with the farmer, and by checking the summary, they can check that the message is from the farmer. I've got a box for you today, ma'am. Thank you, sir. I would like to reply now. Please send this box to the farmer. 
Well do, ma'am. Having unlocked the box using the shared key, read the message and checked the summary, the corn merchant company sends a box to the farmer, which is locked using the shared key. The box contains similar information to the box sent by the farmer, allowing the farmer to confirm that he now shares a key with the corn merchant company and letting him check that the message is from the corn merchant company. Any mail? Yes sir, here you go. Thank you sir. Two days later. Hello sir, I would like to send this box and this letter to the court merchant company please. Will do sir. The letter states that the box contains corn, the maximum and minimum sizes of the ears of corn, as well as the weight of each bag in the box. The box has been locked with the key that is shared between the farmer and the corn merchant company, and it contains bags of corn as well as a message stating the number of bags in the box. I've got a letter in a box for you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. That looks to be in order. Please send this letter and this box to the farmer, sir. Will do, ma'am. The letter states that the box contains wheat, the maximum and minimum sizes of the wheat grains, as well as the weight of each bag in the box. The box has been locked with the key that is shared between the corn merchant company and the farmer, and it contains bags of wheat, as well as a message stating the number of bags in the box. Got a letter and a box for you, sir. Thank you, sir. All there. In this example, the SSL handshake, SSL chain cipher spec, SSL alert and SSL record protocols are demonstrated. In the first phase of the SSL handshake protocol, the farmer sends a message to the corn merchant company which represents the client hello. The client hello message includes a session identity, available crypto systems and compression methods and a random number used against replay attacks. The server responds with the server hello message stating which options they select this is illustrated by the first letter the corn merchant company sends to the farmer. The second phase of the SSL handshake protocol is demonstrated by the corn merchant company sending their trading license, their part of the shared key, a request for the farmer's ID and a message saying bye. In the SSL handshake protocol, certificate, server key exchange and certificate request are optional as highlighted by the dashed lines. The third phase is represented by the farmer sending their land deed, their part of the shared key, and a signed land deed confirmation letter. Again, as highlighted by the dashed lines, certificate and certificate verify are optional. The exchange of the keys and production of a shared key represents the Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm, which the SSL handshake protocol is based on. In the example, the copy of the land deed has some information missing and the corn merchant company reacts by sending the farmer a letter informing them of this. This is an example of the SSL alert protocol where a message can be sent to the other party to inform them of an issue. The message contains two bytes, one that indicates the severity of the alert which can be either warning or fatal and a second byte which contains the code for the specific alert for example, invalid certificates. The completion of phase 3 indicates that the client and server have authenticated each other if required and established a shared secret or key. 
In phase 4, the change cipher spec protocol is introduced, which is represented by the farmer and the corn merchant company exchanging boxes locked with the shared key. The boxes contain a message saying they are happy to use the shared key to secure future messages, as well as a summary of the messages exchanged so far. This represents how the finished message contains hash values generated using the shared secret and previous messages as inputs to the agreed hash function, which allows the message recipient to check whether the other peer holds the same secret, in addition to the integrity and authenticity checking of the previous messages. The corn merchant company responds with similar information to establish this method of secure communication. The SSL record protocol is demonstrated when the farmer sends a letter and a box of corn. The letter contains the type of content, the maximum length and minimum length of each ear of corn and the weight of corn in each bag in the box. The box is locked with the shared key, which represents the encryption in the protocol. The box contains the bags of corn and a letter, which states how many bags there are, in order for the receiver to check that the content has not been amended since it was sent. The corn merchant company responds with similar information when sending the farmer wheat in return, which completes the SSL record protocol.